What is up guys? Lady here, I am back. Have you missed me? Cause I've missed you. I've been really busy lately, okay? I've been working, my toddler started preschool, so I've been taking care of that. I bought myself a car, my very first car. I am so excited. I can finally drive myself around. I don't have to ask people for rides, which means I don't have to feel like I need a cab. I mean, better than a cab though, because I don't have to pay these people because it's my husband and my parents and my friends, but I also hate feeling like I'm using them for a car. So I finally have my own car. Yay, I feel liberated. <laughs> also, I, last week, my basement, flooded twice, two times, two times, um, which was a pain in my behind, because let me tell you, I got a lot of stuff, okay? <laughs> a lot of stuff. Some stuff isn't necessary, some of it was garbage, I just never really gone through it, and aside from that, I have a lot of craft stuff and that I never sorted and put in containers. So, even though dealing with the flood was a pain, it finally made me get downstairs and go through things. Which was good. Because the section of the basement that flooded the most that had all the crap in it is the section of the basement that I plan on converting into my studio. So, I've been working on that. I've got it pretty clean. I went to the store and I bought all the, uh, what do you call them? Totes containers, plastic containers, that I really wanted. I got I got this really big 50 gallon tote and I got the ones that have like the three drawers in them, almost like little little mini dressers. Well, not mini dressers, like, but anyway. So I got those and I have a crummy little bench down there right now, but I'm planning on getting myself a futon or a pull out couch something that can also be used as a bed for if I have a friend stay the night, um, but folds up into a couch so that I can use it for my videos and the, the, the drawer um, containers are being set on either end to be used as like end tables, which is nice. And then the big 50 gallon tote is being used as like a coffee table. And I've got a couple totes that go up under things so I'm getting it worked on. I'm, I've gotten mostly through everything, but I ran out of time. <laughs> I even took a day off work to try to clear out the wet that was my basement right after it flooded the first time. And I carried a bunch of junk upstairs, let it dry out in the sun, sorted through it, moved stuff back downstairs in totes, and then the next day my basement flooded again, but at least that time, most everything was in plastic. The only box that actually got damaged that day was the box that I was using for the things that I wanted to throw away anyway, so. Can't complain too much. Um, also, I, me, my, my husband and I went to the store because I needed a new purse, okay? Just a little one because I have my own car now. So when I go, all I need is my phone, my wallet, and my keys. And I just need something to put it in because carrying it all at once is just a pain. I don't always have 100 pockets to stuff it in. And my, quite frankly, my wallet's kind of heavy because I got a lot of change. So being able to put it in something that isn't my pocket is nice because when I put it in my pocket, it's so heavy that they try to pull my pants down. Now granted, I do always wear a belt, so I'm not actually going to lose my pants, but I don't like feeling like I'm losing my pants. <laughs> so we went to the store to buy me a purse, and while we were there, we found a desk. Or rather, he found a desk that he really liked, because he already has a desk downstairs in his studio. He doesn't call it his studio, but I do because I'm calling mine my studio, so his area is his studio because again he hasn't started his gaming channel yet but he will and when he does the link will go down there but 
he had a desk, but he didn't really like the desk because it was a desk that used to be mine that I no longer used anymore, so it was just convenient. But he was never really, he never really liked it because it was on this fancy big, like, big desk with all the drawers and stuff that's really good for, like, um, doing bills and things. I used it for crafts. <sighs> Breathe. So anyway, he found a desk that he liked. It's one of those corner desks, you know? The ones that uh, like a 90 degree angle. So he wanted it, but we didn't have a way to get it home, so we had to call my parents and have my parents come get it. Well, bring their vehicle to so that we could take it home. And while we were waiting on them, we found another desk that we liked for me because we... My desk... I was using a table, okay? So now we have both of our desks together in his area because they won't fit in my area. Also, not just that, that's not the only reason, my laptop crapped out on me last week. That was another thing that happened. It wasn't the entire laptop, it was just everything to do with surrounding, everything surrounding my videos. My editor, my media player, it all crashed. So, my screen is now hooked up to his computer, so our desks have to be together. But it looks cool, it's nicely situated. We took my desk, my table apart, it's in pieces and I got shoved out my shed, but his desk, old desk, is sitting in the middle of my studio now and I have to empty out the drawers and figure out what I'm doing with them and then we gotta lug that heavy ass thing up to the shed as well until I figure out what to do with it. I don't know, I might sell it. It's a really nice shape and it's really old and it's fancy. It's one of the expensive, it's one of the ones that are like super expensive and cost a couple of hundred dollars. So I could probably get a pretty penny for it. So I might do that because I don't think I'm gonna use it for anything. But because that, that old thing is in the middle of my studio, I kind of got at a standstill because I was trying to clean after work at night, but I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with all that stuff. Also, once I do get it empty, all the stuff that's in it, I mean, I don't know what to do with the stuff that's in it, but also once it is empty, I can't get that desk up, up the stairs and out to the shed by myself. That takes two people. The thing weighs so much and it's so big. So, I have to have help. And well, when my husband works when I work, except he goes in and gets off later than I do. So by the time he gets home from work, I'm either in bed or going to bed. And then I leave for work while he's still in bed because I have to leave for work at 5.15 in the morning. So, I've kind of stopped on cleaning that, but I should be getting back to it really soon because my plans this week are, I'm sometime this week, I'm supposed to clean my shed. And when I do, because also that's another thing, I don't have room for the desk in my shed, but I'm gonna clean my shed and then clean out the drawers and get that thing upstairs, get that desk upstairs and out to the shed so I can finish my studio. I won't have the futon or pull out couch, whatever I, whatever I get yet, but I do have a crummy little bench down there that I'm going to use in the meantime. So instead of being in whatever room in my house that I decide to use, I will be down there, but mainly only when it's just me and you. When I do collabs and uh, just have my friends with me, that will probably still be up here in my living room. Um, Mainly because while my friends are over, my husband is downstairs gaming and we interfere with each other. So, I do all of these videos, just me and you, when he's at work and my daughter's sleeping. So, I will be doing those down in my studio once I get it done and once I do get my studio done, I plan on giving you a tour because I am going to be so proud of it. <laughs> so anyway, also, uh, news, 
aside from that, I got a car. Um, also in news, I got a fancy tripod. I don't know if you noticed in the past couple of videos that I haven't been so close. I've been further away. <laughs> and that's because I have a nice standing tripod. Because I had a little one. Let's see if I find it. Okay. Because I had a nice little one. And this is very convenient. I do like this. Um, but what I used to do was I would hook my camera up to it and I would set this on the table. And then I would have to be kind of close. So I was really close. So I finally got myself a floor standing tripod. So now I don't have to be so close. I don't have to be all up in your business. So I'm very excited about my tripod. Although I will still use this every once in a while because it's just so convenient and easy to carry around and lug with me places. That's another thing. When I went to get the little purse and wound up getting desks, I was also looking for a big tote bag to carry my camera and both my tripods, the little one and the big one, and also my um, Instax camera because I love my Instax camera. And if you don't know what the Instax camera is, it's a little camera based based off of the old Polaroids. You take the picture and it immediately prints out and you gotta shake it to get it to dry. And uh, I took a lot of my wedding photos like that. Um, speaking of those, I don't have those yet. Um, and just, the girl who took the picture, she, I went to high school with her and um, anyway, she's, she's got a busy life and so do I. So working out, meeting with her is difficult. But once I do, get my pictures. I will show a few of them to you. But, well, at least show you my favorites. I don't know why I'm still playing with this. Also, my daughter turns five this week. So tomorrow we're doing a fun thing for her. And, uh, which means I'm about to have my house full of even more toys that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> Which makes me sad because it was another thing that I wanted to get her that I wouldn't know what to do with anyway. So it's kind of a good thing I didn't get her, but she really would have liked it and I would have been happy to see her happy. There was a, I, I'm on a few Facebook yard sales and auction sites. And one of them had a dollhouse. Like the fancy like Barbie size dollhouse. It was at, that stood as tall as a dresser. And I wanted it so bad, and I almost had it, but the auction ended at the same time I got off work today. So I was so focused on getting out of work that I completely forgot to check the bids and make a final bid. So I lost out on it, but I mean, the child who gets it, I'm sure is going to love it, and I'm happy for them. But, but, I'm kind of hoping that the person who won it doesn't show up for pickup and it goes back up for auction? Does that make me a bad person? <laughs> I mean, if that happens, she'll be getting it a week late. But I don't care. That probably does make me bad, does that? Oh well. Oh well. It's for my child. <laughs> so, yeah. I got a new tripod, I got a car, my basement flooded, but it was for the best. I'm gonna have a studio sometime, I got a new desk, my computer crapped out, but, but, even though my computer crapped out and I'm now hooked up to my husband's computer, his runs better anyway, and he's been trying to convince me to use his for a long time, and I just wouldn't do it because I didn't want to have to learn another computer, but forces are making me do things. <laughs> And they said, I'm going to bring rain that floods your basement. So you set up a studio and I'm going to break your computer. Just the editor of the part that you need <laughs> so that you will start using his until you can get a new one because his is better. So, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Now that I'm hooked up to a computer that works and I'm taking care of my basement and everything's starting to work out. I should be, and I'm getting used to the schedule with my daughter being at school. Taking her to school, coming home, cleaning the house, picking her up, putting her down for a nap, working on editing videos, and or 
taking my own nap. <laughs> I'm getting everything worked out, so I should be able to do more videos. I don't know for how much longer I will be doing games with all my friends because the weather's gonna not gonna be great for much longer. Uh, but I plan to get with them as much as possible, especially if you, I don't know if you saw um, the Dollar Store Makeup Challenge, the full sh face with Dollar Store Makeup, but my friend Shannon, or Harley Quinn, as she is now, as she decided, if you watched, you saw her decision. <laughs> She should be in a lot of my videos because she and I have been talking a lot and coming up with ideas for videos that we really want to do together and we have a lot planned and I'm actually getting with her later this week to make even more plans. So maybe, maybe we will have a video for you this week. And also, just like my husband, once she gets her channel started and going, I will put a link down there to her channel too. And also, before I forget, um, you can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, or Instagram. And the links to all that fun stuff is down below in the description. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because I feel like I've just been rambling on and on, but I felt like I needed to catch you up. But again, I need to wrap it up. So. As always, click the like if you liked it, comment if you feel like, subscribe if you want, because I would really appreciate it, and please share with all your friends, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!